For sure. Also, right now, a group of House Republicans is getting ready for a hearing on crime targeting the New York District Attorney prosecuting former President Donald Trump. Yeah, Congressman Jim Jordan and other lawmakers accuse Alvin Bragg of failing to prosecute criminals, calling his policies, quote, pro-crime and anti-victim. Bragg calling the hearing a stunt. This morning, New York's mayor will hold his own press conference and hit back at Jordan. Drake Clark is outside the building where both events take place with more on that and how Republicans are trying to damage Bragg's reputation. Dre. Ladies, good morning. Victims of violent crime in Manhattan. That is the title for today's field hearing here at the Jacob Javis Federal Building in Lower Manhattan. The hearing will be led by Republican Congressman Jim Jordan, who is also chairman of the House Judiciary Committee. But as you guys noted a moment ago, before the hearing gets underway, a group of Democrats, including New York City Mayor Eric Adams, will be holding a news conference also inside the federal building. And they will call what's happening here today a stunt hearing about violent crime in Manhattan. Meanwhile, Congressman Jordan has invited several victims of crime to testify today about their experience. The congressman says Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg fosters pro-crime, anti-victim policies, and he doesn't like prosecuting violent crimes. And that, he says, has led to a significant surge in crime here in New York City. News Nation took a look at the numbers, and 2022 was, in fact, a record year for crime here in the city, with more than 170,000 felonies reported. But according to the NYPD's most recent crime data, for the first three months of this year, major felony crimes are down. The NYPD says murders are down 10 percent compared to the same time period a year ago. The number of shooting victims is down 19 percent and shooting incidents are down 23 percent. Robberies and rapes are also on a year to year decline so far this year. But felony assaults, car thefts like carjackings and shoplifting remains on the high side. Now, instead of Bragg bringing felony charges against former President Donald Trump, Congressman Jordan says Bragg should be looking at ways to help keep this city safe. Mr. Trump recently pleaded not guilty to 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. Jordan and other Republicans sent a letter to Bragg last month asking him to send documents related to the Trump case. And they requested he come to Washington to testify about what they call is his politically motivated decision to charge Trump. They also issued subpoenas for a former city prosecutor who oversaw the Trump investigation before Bragg took, took it over when he was elected in 2021. Bragg did file a lawsuit last week asking a judge to invalidate those subpoenas. In a recent post on Twitter, D.A. Bragg had this to say, don't be fooled, the House GOP is coming to the safest big city in America for a political stunt. This hearing won't engage in actual efforts to increase public safety, such as supporting national gun legislation and shutting down the iron pipeline. Congressman Jordan also taking to Twitter saying that if New York City is the safest big city in America, then why are so many people leaving? Now, the field hearing is scheduled to start at 9 o'clock this morning. D.A. Bragg was invited to uh, testify today. He, of course, declined that invitation. However, uh, some Democratic members of the House Judiciary Committee will be attending today, and reportedly, they will use their time to talk about or to make a case for stricter gun control laws. Adrian, morning. All right. Thank you very much, Dre. Let's Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.